She's very much our baby and very much an only child. <laughs> On any given day, you can find Julianne Lindy and her dog Stella at West Seattle's West Crest Park, which features the neighborhood's only off-leash dog area. Seattle Parks and Rec say there's 14 off-leash areas in the city, but after hearing from the public, there's a need for more. And this is the only dog park nearby, so a couple dog parks sounds great. Um, Especially from what I hear, there's like more dogs than children in Seattle. <laughs> so. Parks and Rec say through funding from the Metropolitan Park District, they're able to build two new off-leash areas and start the planning and design for a third at the cost of $3.46 million. Officials say they're considering 30 locations throughout Seattle for the off-leash area. Each site will be evaluated for environmental, engineering, geographic, equity, and dog behavioral perspectives. Lindy says she's excited for the potential off-leash areas, but admits Seattle should address other issues first. I have a healthcare background, so I would prioritize homeless or health issues over a dog park. Um, but I can see the benefits to having uh, more dog parks in the area as well. Parks officials say the study should be complete in the coming months, and the Parks Department will be putting out surveys for the public's feedback. In Seattle, Brady Wakayama, King 5 News.